guys welcome to learn with tuning my name is jose and we are here with the episode number one of our incredible tutorial series where are you going to learn how to use react yes this series is for you guys that are, are back-end developers and want to become a full stack engineer also for you guys that already know react yes but if you don't know React.js, don't be afraid, this episode is for you too. I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to our channel, for watching our videos and hitting the like and the bell button. And just letting you guys know that I read all comments and a special thank for Nasen Yula. Because today we are going to start a new series of React.js from basics to expert level. So, React.js is a library, it's not a framework, which means you can write your code the way that you are most comfortable with. I just recommend you to follow the best practice and if you want to go deep on React.js, I will put the link for the React documentation into the description section below. You can hit that link and go deep on it. Today you are going to create your first React application and we are going to use the use state hook. You can think about it like on your hand you have a variable that you're gonna use to hold value in the memory. In the other hand, you have the set function that you call the set function to update the value on your left hand. And every time you change the value on your use state, in React.js will figure out the best way, the most efficient way to update the screen. And if you wanna learn React.js, give me a thumbs up and watch this video until the end. Consider to subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Here you have this simple React application. You don't need to worry about anything. You don't need to install anything in your machine. I'm going to leave the, uh, the link for this application into the description section below. You can fork the process and play around with this. I'm going to create a use state folder and our first component today will be called counter. Okay, I'm gonna use JSX, which is the new way to use HTML inside the JavaScript. So to create a component is very easy. You just have to import React from the package uh, React. Okay, and for our first component, let's create a, a const and say mm, counter, and it will be a function. We'll take any parameter so far. It, it's going about to return Okay, it's just uh, a div, which I am a component. Uh, it is to have to close the div. So uh, I'm going to show you how to import, export the folders. You just have to call export and export and then the full. Okay, not export. Export is for Node.js, so you have to export the full and pass your counter. Let's just import use state dash counter and then uh, to like say to plug your component on the page you just need to uh, call your component this way and then I am a component so I'm a component your component is a function okay you could call and use your component like this it also will work and then this counter will have a button and every time you press a button it will increase the counter so and for that we are going to use the react hook use state so let's start introducing uh, our use state hook okay and it's very simple so you could you start to create a const this is an array okay so the first parameter of this array is the actually count and second argument is the set function usually say set counter okay and then it will be from our use state which comes from the react library this hook accepts a initial value for this will be zero and then i'm going to show in this place my counters using this so count is zero now I'm going to show you how to trig a set state function and inside the on click we are going to call our set state. So you can you don't use the use state, you use your you're going to use your set function. In my case it's set counter. So I will uh, call set counter and I'm going to pass the new value. I'll pass it to 10. 
Once I press, it will become 10 and it will appear another console log here. So you can pass an arrow function here and then you could say uh, your arrow function will return counter plus one and then it will one, two, three, four, five times. So uh, plus one, 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 one and one. And then it will update the counter five times but it will trigger the render, a re-render just one time. And let's see if it's, if it's right. See, now my counter is five and then just one re-render. And if I press this again, I will increase five by five. See, but just one render. Okay, so for this second example, we have this uh, array list, okay, which has a counter and a list. And here is my list. I, I initiate it with, with a empty array, okay, and counter with zero. And every time I press this button, I will uh, add counter into the list and then increase counter by one. All right, so uh, we have the counter working and now I'm going to show you another way, the set function, okay? So I'm going to call set list and I will get the reference, right? The, let's see, uh, old list. That is my old list, okay? And with this, I'm going to return something. I have to return something. I'm going to use the old list and then I will push the data there which will be counter all right but in at this time counter is zero right remember counter is zero plus counter is zero plus one which will be equal to one right but at this time count is zero and not one so if I do that, so I'm actually at zero and not one because React.js work asynchronous, remember? So let's see. So now I have to return the old list. And let's see if I'm right. So if I press this button, it will increase it by one first, but it will uh, add zero to my list. See? Give me a thumbs up for that if you learn something new today. But that is another way to do that, okay? And I'm going to show you in the upcoming video how to improve this way, okay? And let's go to another example. All right, so here's the third example that I have for you. Uh, every time I press this button, it will uh, fetch the user from one API and we need to show the result on the page. On my user component, um, I have my set state, which has an initial value, which is also a empty array. Okay, and I, I'm referencing my state with users, and I have this set function, what I call set users. And once I press this button, it will fetch the user from API, and at this line, I am just looping over the my, my, over my user and printing the first name and the last name. Okay, uh, and let's see how it goes. So on my button, uh, this is a little bit different because this function is asynchronous. Okay, we have to use a, a sync keyword here and then it will allow us to await the response otherwise you have to use promises. Okay, and so if I try to create something like this, cons uh, new user, for example, and receive a get user, okay, it won't uh, work very well because this function is asynchronous and then I need to wait until it completes. See, it will uh, go to the fetch user, but it will return a promises. I can use then, or I can await for that. And if I want to await for that, we to make my code more readable, I have to use the async keyword here. And then now you will see fetch using from the API, and then you will see my user. See, and then we have to. Um, push it on the our state 
and then loop over this. Uh, I show you already how to do that. I just need to um, call my set user function, okay, and then pass the new user. And then once I press this button again, you see user is not a map because because my initial state is an array, and then I am overhiding that with an object. Okay, uh, you can easily solve it like this. Uh, but this Ricardo Medina and then it is updating my current user and what do we want we want a list of users right and how can we solve that I'm going to show you the easy way to do that but I already show you how to do that on our uh, preview example okay uh, you can call it, uh, old users list right and then it will uh, you have to return the new list. So on your old user list, you just need to push the new user and then return. This will work with the array example because it's a, a simple list. Okay, with nested object like this, with object with has nested attributes like this, it won't work. And I'm going to prove you. So if I press this, I'll, I'll, I could see the new user on the page, but it will actually not work. See, I can see the new user, but it's not gonna work this way because React.js do a shallow comparison here. And what you can do, you can use sprite operators and just simply return uh, the entire users. Okay, this is one way to do that. And also there's another way to do that. Let me just uh, comment here. And then you can call your set state users. Okay, set function user. And then you bring an array with, uh, you're going to sprite your users here. Also, you are going to uh, return your new user here. Okay, this I do work this way or this way. All right, so we are come to the end of this video. So this is this was a short video, and I promised you that once you watch the video until the end, you'll be able to fetch your users and uh, show the the response on the page. Okay, please let me know if you have any doubts about this. Um, consider giving me a thumbs up for this video, and also subscribe to our channel and leave your comment in the section below uh, if it worked for you, if you have any doubts, concern, or any question, okay? I read your comments and I usually reply uh, them, all right? So, as that said, that's a wrap. Thank you for attending this meeting. Don't forget to subscribe to Turing.com. You can go there right now and Turing.com is less jobs and apply for a job, okay? You will go through the vetting process and I'm pretty much sure you will succeed on your career. All right. As that said, thank you. And I hope to see you again.